verse 22 of the 10th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus giving these rather uh, significant warnings concerning the mission that is undertaken by the disciples. And as we've indicated all along, the instruction here seems to apply not simply to the, uh, the initial mission undertaken to the towns and villages of Galilee, but uh, maybe by this time more uh, to the worldwide mission that will be undertaken following the uh, Great Commission that comes toward the end of the uh, Gospel narrative. And so Jesus now gives this uh, additional warning. We have in verse 22, Chi, the connective and, esistha, from Amy, I am, second person plural, future active indicative. Uh, you will be, is the idea, used with a present participle, Miss Umanoi. This is from Misseo, uh, means to hate. Of course, many of our English words begin with the miss, misinformation, uh, miss uh, of various kinds, uh, and so on, all pointing to the idea of hating, a misguided notion. So, uh, you will be hated. This is a present participle in the masculine. Uh, plural, nominative, uh, you will be uh, being hated, would be the idea, using the participle uh, rendering there. Hupo, preposition, with the uh, genitive here, means by, so you will be hated by, pontone, all, adjective, genitive, uh, plural, uh, you will be hated by all people, would be the notion here, uh, dia, on account of, is the accusative as we have it, to onima, on account of the name, onima mu, of me. So the name of Christ, uh, the name Christian even, is going to precipitate hatred and hostility, sometimes of the most intense variety, as the history of the church uh, eloquently uh, demonstrates. Uh, so you will be hated of all men on account of my name. Uh, ho, the uh, article with the participle here, the uh, enduring, hupomeno is the underlying um, verb. Uh, hupo means under, meno means to remain, to remain under, and from that the idea of bearing under, putting up with, living under, <clears throat> in a sense, uh, fortitude is the notion, enduring is the way it's usually rendered, so the enduring one, this is a... Um, uh, aorist participle, the enduring, the one who endures, uh, postpositive uh, ace preposition with the accusative telos, to end, to the teleology of this, uh, to the end of the project, not simply to the end of a period of testing, but really to the entire purpose of the uh, life that is uh, being devoted to service to Christ, the one who endures into telos, to the end, hutos, for emphasis, this one. A demonstrative pronoun, this person. So thesatai, from sozo, I save. This is the future passive indicative, so that one will be saved. Uh, the test of uh, Christian conversion, of course, is not uh, simply the initial moment, but uh, rather the ongoing uh, determination to endure, to hang in there, to remain faithful to Christ through thick and thin, through the entire process, till it reaches its telos, till it reaches its end. And this is one of many uh, warnings and, uh, and instructions along the way that uh, gives rise to that understanding.